So let me guess, you've purchased a vehicle or acquired a vehicle and you need to get a new title in your name, just like you see on the screen, you want to get a new, fresh, clean title in your name. And you've been to the DMV, but they're requiring that you bring the old title to the vehicle signed over to you. As you see on the screen, this is what a properly endorsed title would look like, but you don't have the prior title. Maybe it was lost after you purchased the vehicle. Maybe you never got the title from the seller. Maybe it was a barn find. What you do have though is a bill of sale and you can see an example of a bill of sale uh, official form from California. Um, that's a kind of complex form that sometimes is used in particular states. Uh, here's another form that's just kind of random from uh, the state of Iowa. You might even have a handwritten bill of sale. So what do you do? You have a bill of sale, you need to get a title, and you're finding out that this bill of sale is not sufficient for your DMV to give you a title. Well, there's two very common options. You can either do a bonded title or a VT transfer. These are two options to use a bill of sale to get you a new fresh title from your state. And we're going to go through both of these options to see how they pertain to your scenario and what the steps would be for you to get a title in both of those cases. So here's what you tried first. First, you tried to bring a bill of sale to switch to a title. and They said no. Then you tried to bring a um, signed application for title without the old title and they said no. So first you could bring a title bond and here's an example of a title bond from uh, Florida. Uh, it's an official form that you have signed by a bond agent to guarantee your ownership in lieu of a title like this. They will give you a new clean title in your name if you bring a bond certificate and you can get that using the link that we'll provide in the email. The second example is from the state of Arizona. This is another bond certificate. Uh, again, every state's a little bit different. Um, you can check with your state to see if it qualifies for a bonded title. Use the list on our website, the state list that accepts bonded titles is highlighted on the map and there's also a list of the states below so you can see if your state will accept the bonded title. Bonded titles work for all years so there's no year uh, limitation on bonded titles. That's option number one. Option number two is a very common process using the state of Vermont and the reason why that is helpful is because Vermont is what's called a non-titling jurisdiction. What that means is that they don't actually give out titles for vehicles older than 15 years. So if you have a bill of sale, you can submit it and get an ownership registration from the state of Vermont. And this is the form you fill out. They'll stamp it, uh, verify it, and they'll send it back to you. Once you get that, then you can bring it to your state to exchange for a title in your name in your state. Now, a couple qualifiers. The vehicle has to be 15 years old or older. So as of right now, it's 2020. That would be a 2005 vehicle or older. Second of all, you have to have a bill of sale, which presumably you would have. And you can use either a bond certificate or a Vermont registration to exchange for a title if you don't have the prior title. All the forms, all the documents for both of these methods and other methods are on our website, cartitles.com. You can download them for free. You can print them out. You can do all the work yourself. There's also an option if you want to have us do it for you, you can, but that's not required. Uh, almost all of the other title companies you'll see online that charge five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars for a title. They're just using one of these processes or another process that you could do yourself to get you a title. So if you have a bill of sale and you want to exchange it for a title, use one of these methods and you can look on our website there may be other methods like a magistrate title prior owner contact some of the other um, title uh, recovery methods available to you and get a new title in your name for your vehicle using only your bill of sale it's not a direct route you can't just walk into your dmv with a bill of sale to get a title they're going to throw you out they don't accept bill of sale documents for titles they have to have something more concrete so using these processes, uh, look at our website, find the instructions for your state and have a new title in your name so you can sell the vehicle, register it, drive it, insure it, or whatever you want to do with that car uh, now that it's in your name.